I've just opened an irresistible offer from my inbox, my email. I'm going to take you shopping with me. I don't have much time and this specific sale ends tomorrow. So I wanna get it done now and I'd love to take you along. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing and today is about shopping. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a different setup today. I want to show you what I'm going to purchase on the computer. So my computer is right there. I hope I'm able to edit in a way that I can have my face talking to you and showing you the screen because I think it's a bit disconnected when all you can see is the screen. I just opened up an email that arrived in my inbox yesterday but I didn't see it, I just opened it now. And it's the website called Something Delightful. This is the website that has all the patterns, Vogue, Butterick, McCaws, Quick Soul, those patterns. And there is a digital pattern holiday sale. And actually I've been keeping tabs with the sales all year and all those $2.99 sales, whatever, they always just apply to the printed patterns. So, you know, I've always thought, oh, you know, what a shame. I have bought maybe two or three PDF patterns and they are so expensive. They actually are more expensive than the indie pattern companies I'm used to working with. So it's not like I'm just gonna go ahead and see a pattern that I like and just go and buy it and pay $15, $16 for one pattern. But it says here $4.99, digital patterns ends tomorrow. That seems exciting. I've had a few on my radar for months. The ones that have PDF patterns are Butterick and McCall's. So I'll just activate the screen recording and let's start to browse. Look, I know mine are gonna cost less than $4.99 because I signed up for this club that gives me 15%. So my patterns will be around $3.99 maybe, they'll be a bit cheaper. I want to have them because I'd love to show you a pattern of these per month. I know they're very, very accessible to you who live in the States. And even if you're in Australia and the UK, you can get these patterns. I can't get them in the printed format, so having a sale for just PDFs is gold. <laughs> so if you are in a place where you can't get them, maybe you want to check the website now and take advantage of the sale. Sales actually never apply to these digital patterns and this is the first time I see this happening, so might as well. Okay, so this is how the website looks. You can scroll on the top and check Vogue, but Baderick, McCaws. The only ones I'm going to look at are Butterick and McCall's because I know they are the only ones that offer the PDF. So I'll open up Butterick first and have a look. Let's look at dresses. Dresses are always my jam. What's my criteria for getting a pattern? Basically, it has to be a style that I can't find in indie pattern companies. You know, my preference is to support indie pattern brands. When I saw one of these, I feel like it just feels disconnected from, from the actual people that make the patterns there's no sense of community and that sort of thing and that's really important for me so i'm always trying to sew indie patterns mainly because they are very accessible to me i can just download them very quickly in my computer but also for that sense of community so i don't feel that with the big four patterns i feel like no one cares if i sew them etc i love to find styles that are different maybe a little bit more intricate that's what i'm looking for here you can see the pictures and the line art. I'm just gonna have a quick browse. I know, for example, this one, it's just got too much going on. If you look at this V neckline with the gathered sleeves, the flounce, you know, I could hack some of my patterns into this. This is not something I think, oh wow, you know, I can't achieve this with anything I already have. So I would probably pass on a pattern like this. I'm not into jumpsuits. I've decided jumpsuits are just not for me. It looks great on her. It's a beautiful style with that high-low hem and the flounce, but I think my sewing skills allow me to create this look with other patterns that I have. I don't know, I wouldn't be like excited to have this pattern. This one is just definitely not my thing. Uh, that sort of cocoon shape does not suit me at all. I think the way they sewed it here with the stripes going across, I think it's a really pretty type of dress, but for a different type of body shape. She looks amazing. The woman that they have here modeling looks absolutely amazing. Same as her. I think this style is perfect for like a really tall rectangular type of shape. The line art looks pretty interesting, but I know I would not look good with this. So it's something I wouldn't want to make. Um, I don't want to go through every single pattern or else this video would be like 10,000 hours. <laughs> 
these ones i always am interested in looking at these ones that come with all these things i think there's such good value the blazer the dress the top the sash the skirt the pants there's so much going on here i like the look of that simple blazer with just the bound edges i like that a lot if you had a really pretty fabric this the dress is basic you know that the, the dress doesn't excite me at all that flounce i don't really like it like that in the contrast like they did it there i just it's not my thing but it's a nice it's a nice classic dress that outfit like this with the fitted dress and the blazer looks amazing for me that flounce is what ruins the look so if i was making that i would just extend that dress and just hem it normally it's a very simple jacket actually okay so let's click at the digital pattern let's see what it says there 399 so i knew the patterns for me were going to be a bit cheaper than 499 because i joined the club some type of club at the beginning of the year that gives me a discount so i think 399 is amazing value for all of these patterns <laughs> let me see what sizes they have okay so the sizing is from 6 to 24 and they have it in two separate drafts i'm just going to go and add things to the bag that i like to my cart and then have a final revision and then take some out that's that's my process here because it doesn't really let you add to a wish list it just goes straight to the to the cart oh well i like that it's very simple it's got a lot of value for 3.99 this looks like the mornington dress from the book that i've just made from each to stitch the so beautiful book it's very similar the style the v neckline with the ties the jumpsuit i'm not interested in if i have an indie pattern that achieves a similar look i'm not gonna even look at these this one i find extremely interesting butterick 6771 it's a shirt dress and a shirt i love that asymmetric look on the hem i'm always for that i think it's always interesting and on the shirt version as well they've done a print mix sort of thing I'm not a fan of that stuff, but I think with different colors, it could look cool with two different colors. That is a really cool pattern that I've never seen before and I know I would enjoy sewing that type of collar. Yeah, I think this is a nice pattern to have for sure. And the liner shows it very well. Look here on the liner, they've shown how you can color block this type of uh, shirt. I don't think I'd do that, but it is an option. I've just noticed I've got something hanging there. Let me put it away. <laughs> Try to forget you ever saw that. That was just a muslin, by the way, not a, not a finished project. <laughs> so this shirt dress definitely going into my cart. Look at this. This would be so pretty, but I know I can't pull this off. This neckline. It's just too low here on the cleavage. The front yoke there is super pretty. I think this would suit someone with a small chest. It would be super beautiful. In my case, it would just highlight my bust and make it look bigger. And that cleavage was just... But visually, I love that look. I think it looks amazing. It just wouldn't be for me. And the other version in this pattern has a really high neckline, which also is not for me. So I'm really wary about liking things, but I really know what's gonna suit me. I sort of know by now. This is absolutely beautiful. This, for someone with a small bust, would be so pretty. I would just be all over that if I had a, a B cup size. Jacket, dress, top, skirts, and pants. That blazer, I like it. It looks really nice and simple. I like the dress as well. I would basically get this pattern for the blazer. Blazers are hard to find. Liner, it's a very simple blazer with a lapel that just falls. And I think they haven't done a facing here. It's just um, finished with a trim with the selvage of that twill type material. Some darts here on the front and the back. I really like it. I like the dress as well. The pants and the skirt, you know, I probably wouldn't use those. I like this one let me see it yeah this is a fitted dress it's made with knits and it's got this insert there that's asymmetric i know a lot of people don't like asymmetric things and a lot of people do like them i like them and the way they've done it here with stripes is just amazing for me i would look for stripey fabric just to make it exactly like that but not with those colors of course i'd probably look for black and white and it looks like a super simple project as well so i'm getting this one for sure butterick 6724 sizes 14 to 22 in the size range that i'm getting okay butterick 6727 i like this a lot it's a wrap style dress but the actual wrap doesn't have ties the ties can be super fiddly and the fact that this is crossed over with these buttons here on the front makes it really secure now 
I would probably need to do some type of bust adjustment with this. I don't really see that overlap hitting at the right height for me. The V there looks pretty deep, but I know I can fix that. I know I can adjust it and make it fit like I want it to and just have this crossover a little bit higher. But the fact that the buttons hold that neckline down gives me a bit of um, reassurance. And I like how those buttons go down on the skirt as well. With the print, you can't really see the details, but yeah, this is totally a style that is screaming me let me know in the comments if you've already purchased some of these and which ones you'd like to see first on the channel i've been looking at this one for a long time actually and i i've been even thinking how i can just do it for myself and i could probably achieve this for myself um but this is so pretty i love this color blocking there i think it's amazing you can do it without color blocking as well but I have looked at this one for a pretty long time and a sheath dress is always my thing. These bustards would need to be manipulated for sure. They are always very high on my body with these patterns. It's got a zipper at the back, structured wovens, which I like. I've got some linens that would look amazing in this. Yeah, this is definitely coming home with me. I mean, it's coming into my computer as a digital file. <laughs> love it, I love it. I'm so happy I can get it because I'm telling you, I've looked at this one for a very, very long time. Let's look at this. Let me tell you why I don't like this thing. It's a tunic and kaftan. It's just so wide across the center right there. So basically the widest part of the dress is across your bust. I wouldn't want to make that. A kaftan, not my thing. This is one that I paid premium price for. So when I bought this, I think in February, I paid like $14 for it and I made it. So I have the video about it on the channel and I really love it. So that's one I've made. This is cute. It's a wrap dress, but it looks too much like the Elodie dress from Closet Core that I made. It's just that this one's asymmetric, but the style is very similar to the Elodie dress that I've already made and I already have the pattern. So I wouldn't get a pattern that looks very similar to something I already have. This style with princess seams, I would need to do so many fitting adjustments for this to fit me that I'm just completely put off by doing that and getting a pattern that I know I'm gonna go through all that effort of lowering the bust point, doing a full bust adjustment. I would rather make this dress from a pattern that I know fits me. I've got patterns with princess seams from each to stitch that fit me really well. I just can't deal with doing all those adjustments on a pattern like this. Although I love the style, I think it's extremely pretty. Let me see what else I can find. You know, I'm not having that much luck. I thought I would find more patterns that I like. This is a cute dress with that tie on the side. I like that it's not a dolman sleeve, that it's got a regular sleeve. And I think it's got like a, a wrap over there on the front. I wonder how this is constructed. It looks interesting. This knot type of dress I know would not suit me at all. I know it's a really interesting design. The other reason I wouldn't sew it as well is because they tend to be extremely fabric hungry and I can't cope with using up all that fabric. This is for knit fabrics. I've also got a dress similar to this from Style Arc. I think all the dresses that come down below are like older patterns and there's absolutely none that appeal to me. I think I've looked at all the dresses that I like this sweater dress would be nice. Let me open this one. I think this would be a cool dress. I think it's cute. It's got that overlap collar there. I'm not gonna get much use out of this pattern that's for cozy weather, although I love the style. I think that's a cute pattern I would get. I like that neckline that has elastic. It's a raglan sleeve. It's got a tie here on the front. I think it's a cute pattern to make like with something flowy like a rayon. This double gauze material, I am not a fan. I know people love it and love sewing with it and I've seen people take photographs and yeah, you look really cute for like five seconds until you sit down and you start wearing the garment. It will just start stretching out and just going out of shape. No, I'm not a fan. And also you have to buy so much fabric because if you buy like two yards and you wash it, it'll shrink and you'll lose at least half a yard of fabric in the shrinking process. So it's a fabric that I would just run away from. This is a really simple design. I think it's cute. It's got raglan sleeves. I've made something similar from Sinclair Patterns, the Poesi top and dress now that I can remember. It doesn't have this tie feature at the front, but I could always add that to whatever I want. 
So even though I like that, it would be a style to pass on because I already have something similar. I love that type of neckline and that overlap, that pleat that there is there in the middle. I think that's cute. I always like sewing different things like that. Yeah, so it's a pretty simple top. I really like it. I think it would be easy to sew. And I think that overlap on that neckline is something unique, something I haven't done on a woven pattern with that mandarin collar there. Yeah, this is, I really like this actually. I think it would be a really classic style also, like those that don't go with trends and things. So let's add this one to the bag for sure. You know, I could sort of see the details with this leopard print, but now that I can see the other photos, I really like it. Got like a little overlay across the front and it ties here on the side. I think that's super cute. There's also little sleeves if you want to and that overlay can be a little bit asymmetric. So there's different ways that you can sew this overlay. Either with a little peplum, no sleeves, flared sleeves, and the asymmetric one. This is the one that mostly appeals to me, you see. And fabrics, Georgette Crepe Stable Knits, cotton blends. Oh, you can make it with stable knits. Interesting. I don't think I'd want to. <laughs> I'd stick with the woven. These two that I'm gonna open here, 6713. I have something very similar from Style Arc that I've already purchased. And yeah, I already have a pattern like that and I like style arc patterns, so I wouldn't go ahead and get this. I like, it's a really different neckline, that's what I like. Although it is a little bit high, that little peep of skin showing on the sides I think is interesting. Same as this one, I have a very, very similar blouse pattern from style arc and it's pretty. There's lots of options for the neckline. Um, this view B, I would never sew that. That's just too much bulk here. I think for someone with a smaller chest, it would be perfect, but not for me. That split on the sleeves at the back is interesting, but something that can totally be hackable onto any sleeve. The view, the view that I like the most is view C. I think it's just different if you've got a really flowy fabric. But then again, I've got already something similar. So I'll just pass on those. This one, I've made this one. This is another pattern I bought at the beginning of the year and I paid full price for it. Both of the ones I made, I made them into dresses. I've shown how to sew these two types of necklines already on the channel. I really enjoyed this pattern. It was a really nice sew. Okay, here's one that I missed. Budrick 6222 mock surplus. So it's, a, it's a mock wrap dress. Look, there's lots of sizes here. Extra small to extra large on one envelope and on the other envelope it's 2XL to 6XL. I think this is a pattern I would love to show on the channel just because size range on this specific pattern is better than on all the others. I, I, I love the style. These two colors that they chose to combine here, I would never. But I like that color blocked look, just not with orange and pink. For wovens, rayon, linen, crepe, even better. Okay, this is definitely one I would love to show on the channel. So let's add that to the bag. Let's go to McCall's now. I think I've seen everything I want to see from Budrick. I get dizzy looking at this. I, I, I feel quite overwhelmed right now. Um, it's just too much. Like I can't spend that much time doing this. I think I always like Budrick patterns more. I find them more wearable than McCall's. I just find the images on McCall's less relatable to me. Like this, this dress like that with just the one shoulder you know I, I know I can't wear that I just can't wear that and then these humongous sleeves with all that ruching it's just not for me not my style I'm just scrolling down there's absolutely nothing that I like here so far on this page for the dresses just too much volume too much frill and shirring and things that are just not me <laughs> okay so I made this one at the beginning of the year McCall's 8031 I really enjoyed making that. It had a huge printing error with the under collar and the upper collar on this shirt. I couldn't believe when I found such a huge error on a big four pattern. I just always thought they were so perfect because they go through all these revisions, I suppose. Oh my gosh, my cause is like, I just, I'm just not feeling it that much at all. <laughs> okay, this is one that I liked. I've seen already, uh, I've been looking at. I'm just gonna click open the ones that I've been looking at before that I already am familiar with so that I don't spend too much time filming here. It's just, if I can summarize what I see on my calls here is like 
ruffles and sharing and volume and gathers and things that I just can't wear so far. Okay, so I have scrolled over like 10 pages here of results and I found some things. <laughs> it was really hard to find things that I liked. But this one I had liked previously and I had already opened it. Um, I like that wrap style with those pleats on the side and the asymmetric hem. It can be shorter as well. I like that. I think it's original. I haven't sewn a dress like that or seen one in the Indies. And I'm sure it's for woven. Yes, for woven. I like this a lot actually. Although, you know, I know I would need some type of adjustments on the crossover, you know, but I'm willing to do it because it's so pretty. This is another one that I've been looking at for a long time, not for the jumpsuit, but for the dress. Actually, it's pretty similar to the one I've just put in the cart. It's just that this one is more straight. The skirt isn't overlapped that much. I would make it sleeveless. I think it would be a, a simple style to sew and this detail on the side is pretty. It is for woven, so that's good. But yeah, I can't resist the $3.99 price for it. And it's a pattern actually I've been looking at for ages. I sometimes hover in here, but then I quickly leave because I know I can't get them. It's a pretty big day, believe it or not. This is one that I saw as well that could be interesting. And it's just different. I, I can see how it would look nice in a flowy fabric like this. I wouldn't make mine long um, below the knee like that. I would close that slit and make it above the knee. The way they've sewn it here with quilting cotton in different colors is absolutely horrendous. I don't like that style of um, color combination and the type of fabric, that ditzy type print, it's just not my thing. That also is very unattractive. But I'm trying to see past that and I like this look. I like it sleeveless with no color blocking. I think this is beautiful. This green style that they have here actually shows the pattern in a very beautiful way and that's the way I can see it being sewn for sure. I think she has a cami underneath because the V is pretty deep. I would need to adjust that because I don't want to be wearing a cami underneath. Yeah, no ruffles. Those ruffles are just, oh, just no. I mean, sorry if you do like that, but I just don't like that at all. It's just too much volume. But yeah, I like this. I like this. This is one of the older patterns. I found it like on page 10 or something. Okay, and this one as well. I think this is one of an, an, an older type pattern too. I really like the way that they made it here with stripes. I would do exactly this. I would find some type of stripey fabric and make it just like that with that crossover. Like, I think it's so striking the way that you can play with this or you can make it in a solid. It's a cute pattern and it's for knit fabrics. Look, they even put numbers there for color blocking. I would just do whatever I want. But yeah, I like this. I really like this. The other one I found in the blazers um, jackets was this. I think it's sort of interesting, that sort of neckline. It's a short collar, but a long one that finishes in a rectangle type pointy thing there. It's not those round short collars, but I know the technique for sewing it will be exactly like a short collar. It's just that this collar piece has a different shape. I think it's pretty. Not the way they've made it here with brown and everything, but I can see through all this styling and I, I know I'm going to like this, especially in the vest version with no sleeves. I think it's cute. So I'm gonna get this one. Look, the one I'm getting here goes up to size 26. So it's a, a few more sizes than the other ones I've been looking at. And this other very old pattern, um, it was like on the last page, it also has a PDF file and I like it. It's just very classic. That little collar there with a the facing, it's got princess seams, it's got a lot of shaping and I think that's always good in a blazer, in a jacket. I think it would be sort of easy to sew for me. The line art shows it very well. I wouldn't make it with a, with a belt, I would just make it normal. It doesn't seem to have any closures, you just wear it open like that. I like it, I like it, it's very classic. And it comes from sizes Z, um, 8 to 20 in the same envelope. So let's add that to the bag. I think I'm pretty ready with my shopping. 55.86. I have 14 items. Let me see the bag. I'm just going to double check to see if there's something I don't want to get from here. Yeah. There's nothing here that I would remove because I don't like it or I like it less. Okay. It's 14 patterns for 55.86. I'm just gonna go ahead and pay with my PayPal. You know, you might think this is excessive, 
but remember I run a sewing channel and this is actually an investment for me this is the way I have the materials the resources available for when I need to make videos and now that I'm gonna have 14 of these I'm gonna try and make one a month try to sneak in a big four pattern a month let me know which one is your favorite if you have any of these which one you would like to see first I'm very interested of course, these are chosen based on my personal preference or my taste. Um, might be different, but you know, I need to sew the things that I love and these are the ones that I liked. Lots of things that I don't like here as well. Lots of things that I don't like, but I'm very happy with these. I hope this brought you some type of value, at least to be nosy into what I'm getting, coming shopping with me, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.